All right, y'all, we are live on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Blessings to everybody in the name of Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. I pray everybody is very blessed as Bitcoin is getting a move to the upside right now. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the chat right now. Shout out to Frankie Bull. He says, What up, Jason? Your VIP Discord is priceless. Must let's go pop those corns. Shout out to J Boy Bullish. What is going on, J Boy Bullish? Shout out to Side of Clouds. Wondering if we'll take the previous day value area high. Shout out to Peter. Blessings to you, Peter. Let me just make sure everything's cool here in the stream, guys. Do me a huge favor, guys. Go ahead, follow me on Twitter at Jason underscore Casper. Go ahead and retweet this tweet that I just tweeted. I guess. There's something up with Twitter, it seems. Do me a huge favor, guys. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, retweet the tweet, guys. Retweet the stream. Let's make it a party up in here. Bitcoin right now getting a little bit of a pumperoni and cheese to the upside, as we can see. Still holding short trades, still holding long trades, guys. Let's discuss what has happened with Bitcoin and what we can look for moving forward. It's a very, very interesting time right now, as we did have some news this morning, which didn't really lead to too much volatility. Shout out to OM53 in the chat. What is going on, OM53? Do I enter with limit or market? It well, it depends, man. I mean, in this case, I marketed in, but in this case here, as you can see, I've got a limit order stacked right at this 786 here. In case of major dumpage, CDW into the 786, I, I will be adding to this long position there, I think, right? I think. Like, that's the thing. Like, if price starts to come down here, I might cancel that order if, if it's not looking good, right? But if things are looking good, I'll keep it there. It'll just add to my entry. And shout out to been wrecked many times. <laughs> Shout out to 10 pence, smash up the likes. Guys, if we can get a thousand likes by the end of the stream, we'll be giving away. We'll be giving away $250 worth of Bitcoin. Gala is good. Is Gala good? We'll, we'll have to we'll have to figure that out. We'll have to figure that out. It depends, it depends, it depends. Alright, guys. Well, let's take a look at this Bitcoin chart. What has been happening? What is happening right now? I've got some TP set at the golden pocket. I've got some TP set here at the 786. We have 0% limit fees on MEXC, guys. We have 0% limit fees once again on MEXC Global. That is back, right? 0% limit fees and also on Bybit with the 0% limit fees, guys. On MEXC, there's no limit, I think, to the limit fees. I think you got zero for life. I think. I don't actually know. Shout out to Photo Franco Studio. Shout out to Amaru. Shout out to Agaruto. He says it depends. It depends. Shout out to TK Movies and OG. Aaron, Aaron, let's make some money. Let's make some money. Shout out to the Casper crew. Shout out to Boyan. Shout out to K-Pax. Shout out to White Phoenix. Shout out to Scotty Swing who liked the dang video as Bitcoin is getting this crazy pump, guys. As Bitcoin is getting this pump. Let's talk about actually what has happened here with Bitcoin in the past few days. All right. Essentially, we are simply trading a sideways range. This would be the range that we are trading. Shout out to shout out to Meeker's Adventures. I saw Doge pumped due to Elon. Yet Doge did pump due to Elon. In fact, I actually hopped in a little Doge long today. And I don't know. I longed the golden pocket. Let's see how it goes. You know, let's see how it goes. I'm not really sure how it's going to go. I'm really not sure how it's going to go, guys. I might get stopped out of this one. I don't know. I'm looking to kind of just hold it and see what happens. It, it, it's not that. It's not that. Uh, not that big of a position. All right. Well, Bitcoin guys is trading this sideways range. I want to start in the daily time frame. The daily time frame. Are we bullish or bearish? Is this thing going to break out? Well, objectively speaking, we know this is a massive bull trend. And objectively speaking, this is a bull flat, right? I'm being objective here. When you have a massive move and then consolidation under resistance. In an uptrend, that is, objectively speaking, a bull flag. 
and we understand that we are heading to the mother of all resistances, which is going to be this right here. We pull all the volume, literally everything we've traded since December 2020. And what do you know? We are coming into the value area high of this range right here. Very, very key level, which is why in the Casper crew, we actually took the short from that level, right? We were take the short from this level. That's actually the short trade that I'm currently in right now because it's literally the mother of all resistances, right? It's the mother of all resistance. And there is a chance we could come down from here, guys. But, you know, I am unabashedly a little bit bullish. Now, when we take a look at the daily time frame on Market Cipher B, there's a few things that really stand out. Numero uno, the daily is, in fact, printing the dreaded upside down Sam Bagman Freed bearish man boob pattern, right? This is just an unavoidable fact that as the price is getting higher into the key mother of all resistances, the momentum waves and the money flow are, are getting lower, right? Giving us the dreaded upside down Sam Bagman Freed bearish man boob pattern. Like, just like SBF, good over here, flapping around his memories, his gyno, flapping it around, getting everybody all super bearish, preparing to liquidate millions of people on FTX. But on the other hand, we have the regular RSI, which is giving us a continuation pattern, right? Let's check out the RSI here. As the price is getting higher, now notice something about the bull flag here, right? The bull flag right now is actually making higher lows, right? The bull flag is making higher lows and the, the RSI is giving us a continuation pattern, a hidden bullish divergence, okay? A hidden bullish divergence. Now we're making higher lows, we're also making lower highs, consolidating in what might be considered to be some kind of a triangular pattern. There's a squeeze happening, guys. There's a squeeze happening. And we're either going to pump like crazy, or we might actually see the Bitcoin price do something like this. Now, the thing is, when we're analyzing this kind of price action, it, notice that the levels are very respected, right? The lows are respected, the highs are respected. Right, we came down, we put in our first low of the range, and we always look for the price to take out those lows and basically wreck everybody who longed, which is why we gave the long setup in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. Of course, this is a this is a little bit different long setup. The one I'm looking for, I can't actually find. <laughs> but then we put in our first high and we took out that high. That's how we got into the short setup from the Casper Crew VIP Discord, right? So we're just trading the sideways range. Now, what has happened now is we have come down yesterday and we have gotten a bounce perfectly from, if we take a look at all the volume that's traded in this bull flag, where did we bounce from yesterday? Now, I did not take a long bear. I was front run. I was waiting for a little bit lower. But if we pull all the volume in this range, we can see that we bounced pretty much from the value area low of this range now personally for me i was waiting for the siete ocho seis right i was waiting for the 786 fib level which is coming in right about here at about 27048 right i was waiting for the 786 the 786 fib level is a great level to trade why because the 786 fib level is a a female and she will she's very desperate to have a boyfriend so if you ask her out aka take along from there She's very likely to say yes. Why is that? Well, because unfortunately, guys, she's not the prettiest looking gal in the world, okay? She's got a little facial hair going on. No, you know, no hate, right? No hate, but it's true. And so I was waiting for that level, but you know what? We were front run. We were front run. Now, what is happening now? Today, we have gotten a move to the upside, right? And would you look at this, right? If we pull our fib from the high to the low, okay? We literally have rejected from the Fibonacci golden pocket retracement. So these levels are very well respected, right? The Casper crew level down here for the long, Casper crew level up here for the short. We actually did take the long trade from here as well. That That's actually this setup right here from that low, from that Fibonacci golden pocket, which is unfortunately stopped out, right? We come up, reject from the 786 Fib, which is crazy. These levels are so respected, right? We come down to the value area low of the range, and then we come up to the uh, 618 Fibonacci, and now we're kind of just trading in no man's land, right? We are just kind of chilling out in the middle of this range, okay? 
Now, this was a, a, a pretty interesting level. This golden pocket right here this morning was a pretty nice level. If we take a look at what actually happened up there, right? When we come to the Fibonacci golden pocket, we get our first rejection, right? And then we come up and we actually reject from the retest of the Fibonacci golden pocket 618 zone, okay? And I actually did hop into a scalp from there this morning. In fact, I'm still in it, I think. Yeah, I'm still in it now, guys. I'm still in it. I'm still in a scalp short from that zone up there this morning. So very interesting. Let's see if we're going to pump. Why are we getting a bounce from right here? This is important. Before we're going to look at some other coins, but make sure to like the video, guys. Make sure to like the stream. Let's see if we can get, can't get a thousand likes. Let's see if we can't get the likes up to the watch. We got about 300 people in here. Let's see if we can't get 300 likes. When we take our fib from the low to the high, you can see that we're bouncing perfectly from the 382 Fibonacci, right? The 382 Fibonacci is where we are currently getting our bounce. Now look at this. I actually did take a scalp from here. Wow, look at that. We hit our we hit our 618 to the dang dollar. Would you look at this, guys? Would you look at this? We hit our 618 to the dang dollar. All right. Hit a TP at that 618 as well. So how did how did I get into this trade? Bitcoin got a bounce from the 382. I wasn't looking really to long the 382. But here's what happened, right? When we came down to the 382, we got a nice setup handed to us, which was this, right? We come down to the 382. If we look at what happens on a very low time frame, we can see that as we come down to the trace Ocho Dose, right? We, we get a bounce immediately. We get a bounce immediately. We pull the fib from the first low to the first major high that we put in. And when we come back down to retest the Fibonacci Golden Pocket 786 zone, if we take a look at coinlies.net, would you look at this? As we are basically consolidating here for a little bit, getting a little bit of a move to the upside, we are seeing some very bullish absorption. Look at this, man, CBD getting way lower as the price is getting higher. We get shorts opening up, up out the wazoo right here as the price is getting higher, which is how why I decided to say, you know what? I'm going in. I was outside, guys, trying to fix the dang tractor. I was trying to fix the dang tractor when I hopped into this trade. As you can see, guys, I'm covered in dirt on my hands from out working in on the homestead, guys. I ran over some landscape matting with the with the tiller on my tractor, and I'm I'm down here. If I hadn't ran over the landscape matting, I wouldn't have been able to get into this trade because I had to stop what I was doing. And of course, when you stop what you're doing, you always check the charts, right? And I had my laptop with me in the pickup truck as well. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, let's get back to the dang charts. That is what is happening right now. We got some absorption happening at the low. We're currently finding local resistance at the Fibonacci Golden Pocket Retracement. Let's talk about what we have to look forward to in the future. We've got about 800 people in here. Let's see if we can't get 800 likes. If we can get 1,000 likes, guys, we're going to be giving away $250 worth of Bitcoin. It's going to be a good time, okay? What are, what are we looking at right now? Well, here's what I'm looking at, guys. It's very, it's actually pretty, pretty dang clear to me that right now the the two juiciest levels, if we're going to continue down from here, are going to be number one, the zone between the 618 and the 786. Why is that going to be such an important box for us? Because if we're trading a sideways range, right, we would look for longs from the low of the range. So this is going to be an area to look for a long. The second area for me is honestly going to be coming back down to the lows right here. I mean, th those are the two juiciest zones. We also do have to be aware of just a liquidity grab from yesterday's low because, right, look at this. I am very much so upset that uh, we didn't come down to the 786 yesterday, right? I was really, really looking for a long trade from this level, like 27K. And so I would be very much so interested in potentially doing something like that as well. Uh, we can see right here, we continue to make lower highs, right? Continuing to make lower highs and even potentially making lower lows right here, which is kind of like this channel -y thing, right? So we could come down to here and get some kind of a bounce, especially if it happens kind of quick, right? We could do something like this. Now, I do have to say... I am leaning a little bit more bullish than I am bearish, right? Le leaning a little bit more bullish than I am bearish as long as we stay here <clears throat> within this range. For me, as long as we don't lose this very important level of $25,000, I'm still remaining very bullish on Bitcoin. And, and it's 
the reason why is because when we just go to the high time frames, right? Let's go. Let's. We could see this so clearly on the weekly, right? We see this so dang clearly on the weekly. We take a look at this, right? And then we take a look at this. Just we're only using volume. Boom. We have two very very key levels based on volume. We have the value area high of the old fall winter range and then we have the value area low of the two year range that we traded from December 2020 all the way until May 2022. So 25 221 and then 29 to 30k. These levels are so dang crucial right now. If the Bitcoin price comes down to 25k and we don't get a bounce from here, we could have a very smooth move to the downside. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about, right? You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if we if we cannot if we cannot hold 25k, it could get really bearish really quick. But on the other hand, is the same is true with 30k, right? If we turn this chart upside down, let's invert the scale, right? Now we're looking at Bitcoin upside down. Let's look at Bitcoin upside down. Let's put on market side for B here, guys. Upside down. Let me ask you guys a question. All right. Let me just ask a question as we invert this scale. If you saw this on the weekly time frame, would you not be a little bit a little bit bullish, right? You would think we're probably going to get a retracement, right? You think this that this this green wave is probably going to do something like this, right? You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it kind of looks to me like, you know, just like if we lose 25K, we're going to come down a lot lower. For me, if we turn the chart upside down, if we break out of 30K, we're going to come a lot higher, right? We're going to come a lot higher because once we enter back into this old range here, right? Look at how little resistance we have until we come to the high volume node of the range, which is happening right around, you know, this $47,000 area. So I will get very bullish if we can claim and hold uh, $30,000. Now, people say you shouldn't get bullish at resistance. Well, I'm not saying to buy here. I would never say long here. I would never say to buy Bitcoin here, right? But when you're in an uptrend and you're consolidating under resistance, that is objectively bullish. But I wouldn't say I'm not planning to buy Bitcoin here. The only time I would long at this area is if we break out with a retest and then look for more upside, right? That's kind of what's going on with Bitcoin right now. Let's check out the one hour time frame once again and see. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of a rejection from the local Fibonacci golden pocket. Okay. Yeah, look at that. The 618 Fib level. Again, the 618, guys. She is no joke. Oof. She is no joke. As Looks like we're even printing a bearish trigger wave here. Yeah, the 618 Fib level, as you guys know, my high school crush, 6 Juanita. I tried to ask her out on a date. And it turns out I was in the friend zone. Didn't know what the friend zone was at the time. Okay, I thought because it was a girl who would actually talk to me that she was into me. Didn't realize there's a thing called the friend zone, right? So as you can see, when I asked her out on a date, she rejected me like a punch in the gut. The purple candles just started spewing out of me. All right, but we do have to understand when she rejected me, when we take a look at Market Cypher B, we could clearly see that there was another girl standing by, hanging upside down from the rafters with very uneven gluteus maximi. So let's see, do we have any kind of uneven gluteus maximi as we come up? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We could clearly see as we came up to the golden pocket right here, market cipher B getting lower like this. Okay, and now it looks like money flow is coming out. Okay, so this could give us a little bit more of a movement to the downside here, to be honest with you guys. This could actually give us a little bit more movement to the downside. Let's actually check out some higher time frames here let's check out the six minute did we have any bear divs on the six eh not too bad actually not too bad looking on the six let's check out the three okay three has some bear divs but money flow coming up let's let's just hang on a little bit more here but let's hang on a little bit more to this trade to the long trade and you know what I, I am i am going to add to the short here because because why not right i mean why not right isn't that good good uh trading uh mentality right why not why not
Oof, what a horrible entry I just gave myself there. All right, whatever. Why not? Why not? And we're gonna we're gonna shoot for the lows here, okay? We're gonna shoot for the lows. Twenty-seven nine seventeen. Twenty-seven nine uh, nine twenty. Right. We'll front run our level a little bit. Boom. All right. Let's see if that plays out. If not, guys, you know I'll get stopped out at the entry. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay. Let's mark out some key zones, and then we can look at some other assets, right? Because I don't want to be caught unawares if Bitcoin starts to do something crazy, and I'm not here to catch it, you know? So we're going to go back to the four hour here, and we are going to mark out some of our level. I've already got some alerts set, as we can see. I've already got alerts set, so, so we don't have to worry about alerts. But uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove these alerts. I'm going to set fresh, fresh ones. I'm going to set fresh ones here, because I want to be ready, right? We're looking to we're looking to make some juicy profits today, guys. You know what I'm saying? We're looking for that juice. So first of all, I am very interested if Bitcoin actually does come to the 786 Fib level. So we are going to be setting an alert in case Bitcoin actually comes back down toward these lows right here. Just going to be aware of that. And then I also want to know if Bitcoin is going to take out this high right here. Also going to be aware of that. And let's just get our, our range going on this chart because, you know, we don't want, again, we don't want to be caught unawares, guys. You know, the last thing we want to do is have price action move without us. You know what I'm saying? We stay up all night for this. We lose sleep over this. We don't eat because of this. You know, we keep a little pee jug next to our desk because of this, right? We could miss the move if we go to the bathroom, you know? Let's pull the fib from the high to the low. Okay, we do want to... We definitely want to know if we're going to come to the 786 yeah. 786, this could give us a nice a nice opportunity as well. So we've got an alert there. We've got an alert here. That's all I'm primarily interested in. Um, there's one more place, actually, guys, that I am interested in. There's one more place that I'm actually interested in to potentially get into a trade. And that is going to be... There's a few places, actually. Let's check them out. All right, first of all, we've got the, yeah, we've, we've got the uh, the daily open. It's going to be an interesting level. The daily open is lining up perfectly with the 0.5 Fibonacci, right? Daily open 0.5 Fibonacci. So we do want to be aware if we start to come down to that area. And then the golden pocket itself, guys, is a zone that I am quite interested in as well. The golden pocket itself is a zone I am interested in. So we'll put an alert here as well okay yeah 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 okay let's take a look at some other assets guys let's take a look at doge right doge is breaking the internet right now as uh we are officially now i mean it's crazy but we are legitimately pumping like crazy on doge I mean, wow would you look at this pump guys on the daily chart yesterday one daily candle alone has pumped us about 39%? No, no. Only 38%. Wow. Absolutely crazy. Of course, it's because Elon Musk, as we can see here, he's changed the Twitter logo to the Doge logo. Wow. What does this mean? Is he going to change, you know, Twitter to, to Doger? I don't know. You know, we're going to have to kind of wait and see. Now, after this big pump, you can see that we're kind of starting to trade in this local little range thingy here and i just kind of looked at this and said to myself well if this is going to continue bullishly where would i want to get into a long trade on this and you know it's just the fibonacci golden pocket from the low to the high if we check this thing out right here we could see from the low to the high we go ahead and turn on our 618 kaboom we are currently finding some support like literally exactly on the 618 right uh if we turn back on market cipher we can see that on the one hour time frame we definitely don't have anything bullish looking if we go to the 24 minute time frame we definitely also don't really have anything bullish looking about this you can see that we have broken down from this kind of very bearish looking ascending channel that we had going on right here i mean you know very bearish looking and uh Let's see if this doesn't hold. I mean, uh, 
we might come down lower and the next place i would be interested in longing doge would be down here at the the macro golden pocket right to basically take out everybody who's longed this entire area and then get a bounce from this and this is also nice the golden pocket is nice because if we take a look at the four hour time frame here we can see that if we do pull some volume like this that uh the golden pocket is pretty much the retest of the the value area high of this entire chunk right it's also if we pull even more volume it's the high volume node of everything for doge going all the way back to november i think that's november yeah november 2022 so this uh this 87 cent zone for doge for me is actually looking kind of nice as far as uh potentially hopping into a uh hopping into a a potential long because we have the golden pocket we have the support resistance flip right here right support resistance flip golden pocket and high volume node of the range right so if this is going to continue bullishly who the heck knows right I mean, any trade we're taking on Dogecoin is basically kind of like, in my opinion, always a gamble. I don't, I don't really trade Doge seriously, right? I do hold Doge on spot because it's one of those coins that inevitably will pump no matter what happens. No matter, now, you know, I, I, I fell into the the mistake of writing it off as a meme coin, so I didn't touch it for years, and then it pumps, right? And I was like, dang, I missed the pump. I should have bought Doge. I didn't buy Doge and then pumped again. I was like, dang, how is that possible? Two pumps? Who the heck? What the heck? Right? And that happened to me like three or four times, which is why when Shib started to pump, I took it full advantage of the old Shib. But Doge, not so much, right? So this is a pretty interesting area for Doge, in my opinion here, right? Shout out to everybody in the chat right now. We got about 1,000 people in here, only 400 likes. If we can get 1,000 likes during the stream, guys, we are going to be giving away $250 worth of Bitcoin. Uh, shout out to Lauren in the chat. Paper trading means trading with fake money. Yes, this is all paper trading here, guys. We don't trade with real money. It's all fake. It's all fake. So let's check it out. Okay, so the bit the, the we added to the short trade here. Maybe it was a bad idea. Let's check out the Doge trade again because I did long that golden pocket. Let's see how it's going here from that Doge. Go Ah, it's going pretty dang good. Look at this. Look at this. Let's check out our Bitcoin. How's the Bitcoin long doing here? Let's check it out. Okay, we're still getting a move to the downside, guys. We're still getting a move to the downside from this 6 Juanita. Right? Oh, oh man. Okay, we are we are dumping down, baby. Okay, we are getting a dumperoni. A dumperoni in queso right up in the uh right up here. Man, that is crazy. Okay, so so look, I've got my stop loss like just below the entry here. This could be a pretty significant move to the downside. Uh, if I get stopped out, it will still be a profitable trade for me. Look, let's see if we hold the golden pocket here. Let's see if we hold the golden pocket. Let's see if we hold it. Okay. So the Doge is actually holding up while the Bitcoin is getting a dumperoni and cheese. The Doge is holding up here. Let's check back out the Bitcoin short. See, it's a good thing I added to the short. I was kind of hedging myself against this long that I'm in. So, you know, the short... Okay, it's doing all right here. Let's see. We're going to come down a little bit lower. We do have a TP down here at 27,920. Let's pull out a local Fibberoni. Whoops, Fibonacci. Okay, so we know. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me make my fibs nice and thick. I do like thick fibs because they're easier to see on a chart, right? Okay, so we do not want to lose this zone right here. Uh... Well, it's funny, right? Because I'm in a short trade. But let's pretend I'm in a long trade, which I am. I don't want to lose this zone right here, guys. Because this zone, to me, means we're coming lower, right? If we lose this white box, we're coming much lower. So what we need to do now is we need to take a look at what is happening on an order flow chart, right? What is actually happening live right now with the orders coming in with Bitcoin? We have seen right now a, a decrease of trades, okay? When we came into that golden pocket... You can see that we start to see trades closing out. Traders were taking profit, including myself. I had a take profit that was hit exactly right here because I knew this was resistance. And now we're actually starting to see some shorts opening up. We're starting to see some shorts opening up right here. Okay, a few shorts. not Nothing too much, but a few shorts. But in general, traders are closing out of their positions.
this could be I mean depending if we hold if we hold this uh this golden pocket we might get a bounce from there guys let's pull our fib once again on coin lines and see you know the area that we really want to hold is going to be this box right here between the golden pocket and the 786 okay this is where we really want to be looking to hold and um We might actually get some, some bullish-looking CVD coming into this box, guys. We might actually get some bullish-looking CVD coming into this box. Right? We might. Um, because from the low, I mean, look at open interest over time. Open interest over time has really come up a lot. Right? We can see. What does open interest coming up mean? It means traders are opening up new trades. And if, if this CVD line is going to be lower, which it already is, guys... It's already a little bit lower than it was at the entry. You know, this could be... We could see shorts being absorbed here, potentially, right? Which could give us a bounce from this area. This area has to hold. Um, this area has to hold, okay? Let me actually... Let's let's tee some P at this golden pocket, guys. You know, let's just take profit at this golden pocket right here. Right, because we want this area to hold this golden pocket. So we're gonna we're gonna take half the short out at this golden pocket here, and then um, we're gonna kind of wait and see, right? I mean, if we start to get a bounce from this zone, I might add to the long trade, man. I might add to the long trade. Let's see what happens here. We're getting a purple candle down. Let's go over to EXO charts. Oh, we're coming down to the VWAP. We're coming down to the VWAP. Did you know that? And shorts are opening up here. On an increase of open interest, very slight. But look at this. This is interesting. We actually do have a lot of shorts that have opened here that are still in profit. I, I actually didn't notice this. This is interesting. This is very interesting. We had a lot of shorts open up right here, holding the negative. And now we've got more shorts opening up as we're about to retest the VWAP. No way. Is this real? Hang on. Sometimes ExoCharts glitches. No, it's real, guys. We're coming down to the VWAP. And we've got shorts opening up into the VWAP. This is a recipe for shorts getting wrecked, honestly. Um, although, although I do have to say this, we've been kind of chopping around VWAP all day, so it doesn't really mean as much to me. It doesn't really mean that much, honestly. It doesn't really mean as much. Let's go down to the five-minute time frame and really look at what is happening here. Okay, so as you can see, guys, we've got almost three million shorts. Opening up right here. And now we've got even more shorts opening up here and longs, right? It's, it's, it's kind of a battle. It's kind of a battle. When we zoom out, we can see that we could have a potential CVD divergence here. Potential, potential. Let's see what happens here, guys. I actually kind of like what I see for for potentially getting a uh, more more upside here, right? As we come down to this local golden pocket retrace. Now, something else that's very intriguing to me is the uh, the S and P guys, the S and P. Oof, S and P getting getting hit hard today. That's not very bullish for Bitcoin. S and P getting hit hard today. SMP guys coming up to a key zone of resistance. This actually, this is such an interesting chart, man. This really is such an interesting chart. We've got this lower trend line that's being respected here. We've got this white trend line from January 2022. I would consider this a breakout and a retest. Very important if we can come above and put in a higher high and actually hold above 4190. I think we could see a lot more upside on the S&P 500. We have failed to put in a lower low or a lower high since October, right? We put in our low, our high, our higher low, our higher high, our higher low. If we can continue this, I, I know everyone's so dang bearish right now. The world's falling apart and all this. I think we could see some, uh, some pumpage going on here. I think we could see some pumpage happen. 
Oh man, okay. Alright. Okay, shout out to everybody in the chat. What's the dollar doing today? All right, Bitcoin is it, you know, we're short on it. It's hitting down Dogecoin. Let's check out what is Doge doing? Oh man, Doge is getting a little pump on right now, guys. Doge is getting a little pump on right now. Wow, would you look at that, man? Would you look at that? Okay, Doge getting a pump right now, bouncing exactly from the Fibonacci golden pocket. Wow, would you look at that? Right, that is wow. Look at Doge go, man. Look at Dogecoin go right now. This is crazy. This is insane. This is insane. All right, let's 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 see if we can't take some P at point zero nine seven twelve. If we make it up there. All right, let's check out Harmony One. Let's check out Harmony One. Shout out to everybody who disliked the video. I see you guys out there disliking. You know, may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. And I do pray that you find a YouTube channel that provides the content that you enjoy, right? Because it's all about you. This is like Burger King up in here. Crypto YouTube is like Burger King. You have it your way. It's whatever you like, man. Whatever you like. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're going to check out ONE. And God bless everybody who's liked the video as well. And may the Lord bless you all. And may he bless your families. All right. Harmony is, is pumping right now. Okay. Wow. My goodness. Can you believe this? Harmony. O-N-E. Right. Number one. Look at this pump, guys. Wow. Up on the day. About 9%. Nothing like Dogecoin, guys. I wonder if I'm going to hit this TP. I don't know. I mean, when Doge pumps, it pumps, man. You know what? Forget this. Let's see. Oh, we already hit that support resistance flip-flop there. We're going to shoot for some higher targets on Doge, man. You know, if I'm long in Doge from here, yeah, I'm, a, I'm an all-or-nothing kind of guy. You know, I'm an all-or-nothing kind of guy. Let's 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 TP on Doge at this four-hour support resistance flip up here, way up here at, at 10 cents. We're going to shoot for a 10-cent Doge TP. You know, all or nothing. I believe all the people in the comment. I got so many comments on my Dogecoin video yesterday that Dogecoin, we're never going to see it below 10 cents a game. So I'm taking profit at 10 cents. Um, shout out to SS. God bless you, SS. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Beast Mode is in on this. Schlong the like button. ETH is pumping right now. Shout out to Lauren. Shout out to Dave Digital. Shout out to Jagged Mountain, a true OG. A true OG. Been here from the very beginning, Jagged Mountain. With the pretzels. I'm all about those pretzels. I really am. Okay, so Doge, you know, this is a four-hour chart. Not looking so good. The one-hour chart, looking a little bit better. All right, back to Harmony. What is going on with Harmony? Getting a massive pump. This is log scale on the daily time frame. And we can zoom out on Harmony and just see that I would consider since May 2022 to be somewhat of a range here. And um, I think we've looked at this coin before and I just don't really like what I see, guys. I'll tell you why I don't like what I see. We haven't put in any bullish divergences here. We did down here. Okay. Let's, let's check this out. Let, let's do a little analysis here, okay? All right, so we did, we did in fact, get a bounce from the Golden Pocket 786 value area low retest after we did get bullish divergences down at this low. And locally, we've changed market structure, right? So we had the previous high on the daily. We had a lower high. We put in our low. Higher high, higher low, higher high. So... We had bullish market structure here. Did we come in for a macro higher high? Okay. You could say, you could make the case that this is now officially in a bullish trend. So let, let's take for granted that this is a bullish trend. What are we going to look at now? What are we going to look at right now? We are consolidating around this point of control, which is what I don't like about it, right? This is resistance. So it would be tough for me right now to like say, where would I look to get into a trade? Because 
the opportunities I feel are missed, right? There was an opportunity here at the golden pocket value area low. There was an opportunity right here at this little liquidity grab in this local range to the long harmony or buy harmony. I wouldn't be looking so much to long another golden pocket retrace here. Mm, maybe I would, but I, I don't like it. I don't like it because we haven't put in a higher high, right? I would I would look to long a golden pocket retrace if we put in a higher high because the whole idea of longing a retracement is why is it called a retracement? Because we're in a trend and we're just retracing, right? It's not a reversal. We're just retracing before the trend continues, right? That's why it's called the 61.8% retrace, right? We've retraced 61.8%. That's where we look to long in the trend. But if there's no confirmation of trend continuation, I don't know if I'm down for it. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys, you hear, hear my, my plight here. You hear what I'm saying? But yeah, it did pump a lot. Um, let's look at some local stuff on Harmony, right? Let's see what we got locally here. We'll go to the one hour and we'll just look at this range, okay? We know we're consolidating around the point of control. If we're going to be getting into a position, it's going to have to be based around this, okay? All right, so objectively speaking, we're at the value area high of a local range with some bearish divs locally on the one hour. Let's pull out a local fib and see. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so we're rejecting from the 786 Fibonacci at the value area high of the range with some bearish divergences, right? So, let's see. If I was going to look to long this now. It would have to be. <laughs> it would have to be from our, the 786, man. That's where I would look. If I was going to get into a long on this coin right now, it would be the 786. Why the 786? Because it's a very clear support resistance flip, right? Let's go ahead and make this trend line white and thick. It's the way I like my women is the way I like my trend lines. Shout out, by the way, to my wife, Big Butts 28 Now, if we come back down here, we would do a liquidity grab, bounce from the 786, and we can also see this mini range that we have back here is also going to be a zone of support. Perfect confluence with the with the uh, value area high point of control of this mini range. So that's where I would honestly be looking to long harmony, right? We're, we're coming to the top of the range. If we're just trading a range, juicy for me would be back down to the low of the range. Of course, you could look at intermediate levels as well. You could pull like the local fib and long the point of control. That would be like a more bullish scenario. Um, right, we have a Fibonacci golden pocket lining up very nicely with this point of control here. Let's pull the mini range and see what we got going. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Juiciest for me, guys, would be the 786 around around uh, 0 0.01925. 0 0.01925. That would be juiciest for me for Harmony. Unlike a, unlike a low-term time frame, you know? Um, like day trading, scalp trading. I would not look for a long here because, objectively speaking, guys, we're at resistance... Let's go down to our 12 minute. Okay, so the 12 minute is giving us bearish divergence, but the, the money flow is bullish, right? Okay, so in, that, in this instance, maybe I would look to long this first golden pocket here. We do have a pretty nice support resistance flip at that first golden pocket. So two areas I would look would be would be uh, two cents, I guess, around 2.05, and then juiciest would be 0.019. Man, that would be so dang juicy if we could get that. I don't know. We'll kind of have to wait and see. Let's pop back to our Dogecoin trade. Doing pretty good, guys. Up about 30% 15x leverage here. And, uh, you know, we're taking profits at 10 cents. Let's check out the Bitcoin price. What is Bitcoin doing right now? Okay, because I'm in that short. I just added to the short. Looks like we're not doing so good on the short, guys. Okay, we're not doing so good on the short. Let's go to the five minute. Oof, not looking so good on the short trade for Bitcoin, guys. Looks like I'm going to get stopped out of my entry for a 448 USDT profit. Actually, after the stop loss is hit, we can take out about two, let's say 
So we're looking at like a $400 profit when this thing is stopped out. But the good news is, guys, the good news is this long trade over here is actually doing pretty well. So let's kind of check out, see what's going on. Okay, let's pull out a local fib and see if there's signs of weakness. All right, look at, okay, yeah. So we do want to be aware of basically if the Bitcoin price comes up now to the local golden pocket. I mean, this is crazy. You could pull fibs within fibs, right? If anybody wants to learn how to do this, by the way, check out the course at jasoncaspertrading.com where we go over. I have, I have a session in the course called pulling the fib all day and all night. Pulling the fib all day and all night. We just got a new website, guys. It's looking pretty fresh, pretty fly. Check out the courses here. We got two courses. One of them is basically will give you the complete blueprint to trading, right? You could tell, though, it's not financial advice because this idiot with the Pikachu hat and the tank top. But uh, also, we have an advanced order flow course, which will teach you how to read a chart like this one. Both of those courses are very, very uh, educational. Um, and if you want to join the community, you can do so also on the website now. Uh, just click here to join the VIP Casper crew. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session with Boyan or White Phoenix, you can do so right here. And also, guys, if you sign up to Bybit and deposit $100, not only do you get 0% limit fees, but you also get a, a month free of the Crypto Fusion Trading Bot, right? The Crypto Fusion Trading Bot, this thing will basically trade for you. Uh, it will place your order for you it will take profit for you it will move your stop loss for you it's a pretty cool thing uh you can check it out right here if you're interested on the website as well but you get this for a month for free if you deposit a hundred dollars on Bybit, along with zero percent limit fees okay so the bitcoin getting a little bit of a downward retrace let's check out the order flow chart once again let's see if we see what we are kind of looking for here all right wow look at this we had a whole bunch of shorts open up right here and now a, a few of them have closed out nothing too crazy going on actually just just chopping around here just chopping around what we were really looking for guys was we were looking for a move down to this purple box where we were looking we we're going to be looking for bullish absorption to take profit on the short and add to the long that's what we were looking for here but it don't you don't always get what you want, guys. In fact, yesterday, of all the juicy price action yesterday, I only caught a tiny little 0.5% move. TP1 stop loss to the entry for basically a break even, right? So you don't always get what you want, right? But we can have plans, right? What's price going to do? You know, it depends. Wait, wrong picture. It depends, guys. It depends. We can't know for certain what it's going to do, but we can have a plan because if something happens, and we have a plan in advance well then we can take advantage of that volatility if you guys know what i'm talking about here all right so let's let's see this is looking a little bit not so good for the long in the moment guys in the moment shout out to everybody in the chat man you guys are amazing uh short term upside limited in my opinion large retrace do real soon yeah probably probably that's probably true rmg do I use spider lines, Bitcoin slot one? I don't use spider lines, but I know they work well. I know they work very well. Um, shout out to the Revival Knight. He says, like the stream, guys. Yeah, we got about a hundred, a thousand people in here. We don't have uh, a thousand likes, right? We don't have a thousand likes. Whoa, oh, it's a full moon tonight. That's right, guys. It's a full moon actually tomorrow night, I think, is the official. Is it tonight or is it tomorrow night? Because here's the thing. Passover is on the full moon. I'm pretty sure... Wait, what day is today? Is today Tuesday? Today is Tuesday. That means when the sun goes down, it's the 14th of Nissan. Right? So that means the full moon. When would the full moon be? I don't know, guys. You know? I don't know. Someone let me know. When are me and Carl from the moon doing a collab? Um, you know, I'll tell you. It depends on when he's down. But guys, the preview is out. And we are absolutely doing a movie together. Hello, um, I would like to get a uh, Big Mac meal. Yeah, so, okay, is the full moon tonight? Is Passover tonight? I thought it was tomorrow. Why does it matter? Because 
It doesn't, it just, I'm trying to think about the moon. Passover is always on a full moon. It's always on a full moon. So, when I'm thinking about when's the full moon, you know? All right, we're getting another pump to the upside here, guys, which is good for Bitcoin, I guess. It's good for this Bitcoin long. Now, here's what we need to be careful for. For the long trade, we need to be careful for of this section. On the short trade, we need to be careful of this section, right? They're literally the exact opposite of each other, right? So for the for the short trade, I'm looking to, you know, if we if we can't get through this level, that's good for the short trade. For the long trade, if we can't get through this level, that's good for the long trade. Now, keep in mind, for the short trade, we actually have already rejected from the macro golden pocket pull. So, you know, it's quite interesting to, to watch. Guys, this morning, we rejected from the 618 FIB to the dang dollar, right? We make our way down, we come up, we reject from the 618 to the dang dollar, right? Right now, I've pulled a very local FIB from this high here to this low right here, and we are coming up to test this is basically going to tell us, is this downtrend locally going to continue or is the dip over and are we about to pump to the moon, right? Speaking of the moon, shout out to Carl from the moon and the movie that's coming out very soon. Uh, what is a PDEQ? It is a previous day equilibrium, man. It basically just means like it's the halfway through yesterday's candle, right? Uh, gold and silver are pumping hard. All right, let's check back out the order flow and see like what's going on on coin lines right now. Um, nothing too much, guys. We have a, this is this this move to the upside so far. This retrace so far, in my opinion, is a little bit weak. The reason why is because uh, it's on a decrease of open interest, right? So that means primarily it's, it's kind of a short squeeze, right? It's kind of a short squeeze, uh, which. I don't know, it's kind of a bummer, right? Because we wanted to see shorts opening up lower and then getting trapped, right? So now the fact that shorts are closing out now is like, eh, it doesn't really make me too stoked on this uh, this purple box here, but who knows? Only time will tell, right? Only time will tell. It doesn't make me too stoked on, on this purple box down here. Shout out to everybody who has liked the stream, guys. Um not found says should i open a long trade now well you know what i will answer your question with a question my friend oh my goodness about to get wrecked i will answer your question with a question do you have a plan to enter your long with a stop loss and a take profit in mind and do you have a reason to enter the long trade because i cannot say whether to enter a long or a short i need to ask you do you have a plan to enter a long trade right now. Because if the answer is no, then you should never enter a long trade, right? The answer is no, you should never enter any trade unless you have a clearly defined plan, right? So the only plan I could possibly see right here, I, I guess would be if we're gonna long right here, you know, we would have to say that, you know, we're long very locally. Our stop loss would have to go below the last low on like the one minute. And I don't know, where would resistance be? I mean. I don't know, unless you really think that the bottom's in and you're going to go back for the highs, in which case this is a valid entry plan, right? This is a valid plan. It's a it's a three to one risk reward. If you're using proper risk management and you're only risking 0.5 to 1% of your stack per trade, then who knows? This could be a good trade for your strategy, right? But that's the thing. It's all about having a plan and using good risk management, right? Uh, for me, I would not long here. And the reason for me is because I would say that the right now, my stop loss would have to go below this low, right? And for me, if I'm looking for a scalp trade, this is not a very good risk to reward ratio, right? I mean, we're, we're, we're coming up to a local resistance. And even if we come back to the highs, it's still not even a two to one risk reward, right? It's a, maybe a two to one if we, if we take the high. And so that's just not worth it for me, right? I'd rather have a, a, a better entry on a different kind of trade here, you know? Let's check out how Doge is doing.
it's doing all right, guys. You know, um, he's still getting his pump on. Still getting his pump on. Still getting the pump on, baby. All right. What do I think about ETH Bitcoin bull dip? Let's check out ETH Bitcoin real quick. Let's check out ETH Bitcoin. All right, we're going to start on the weekly chart, guys. All right, wow. So, guys, I do have to say, this is actually pretty dang bullish. <clears throat> this is bullish. This is this is bullish, all right? This is bullish. We have come down to the local Fibonacci golden pocket retracement as Ethereum Bitcoin pair is trading in the sideways range, guys. Would you look at this? Okay, this is bullish. This is super bullish. Wow. This is crazy. Okay, so we've come down to the golden pocket from the low to the high. And we're about to print a trigger wave on the weekly. Now, keep in mind, the context of this range here, guys, is that we're trading in a massive cup and handle. Okay, massive. With a target of basically one ETH being worth about 0.15 Bitcoin. Right? This range has basically been here since the bull market top, right? The bull market top. So essentially, Bitcoin and ETH have been about equal in value to each other proportionally since May 2021, right? I do believe that when we break this neckline, we are going to see Ethereum far outperform Bitcoin. And this could very well be the uh, um, a, a big bottom, at least back to the top of the range, where locally now we see... Uh, ETH coming back up to the top of the range here, maybe being worth 0.07 Bitcoin. When we take a look at the daily here, do we have any bullish divs? We don't really have any bullish divs on the daily. Actually, we do. I'm sorry. Yeah, this looks bullish, very bullish to me, guys. From the golden pocket, right from the box. This is the box we've been waiting for for a long time. <clears throat> yeah, this looks kind of bullish to me. The only thing that I would want to see for like confirmed bullish breakout would be a breakout of this trend line here, right? This bullish divergence is very bullish on the low side, but if we get a momentum wave on the daily that comes above this trend line, that to me would, would very much so signal, all right, this is real, right? Because this is from November 2022 when FTX went down. You know, if we get a momentum breakout here, I think that could be really nice, right? So if we put in a higher high locally on the daily, then I would really be, and, and we put in a higher momentum wave here, right? Let's say we put in a higher momentum wave right here, and we take out this previous high in the daily from basically this from March last month. Then I would be like, man, this this is legit, and let's like we could pull a fib, and and wow, yeah, we could we could look to. I mean, I, I don't long, I don't trade this pair, but we could look for a bounce from that that golden pocket retest here, from about uh, from like. From about sixty-seven thousand satoshis, All right? This could this could get bullish, and you know we could really see altcoin season start to pop off, at least locally. Let's check out actually altcoin season index right now. All right, I mean, you know we're down toward the area where we tend to we tend to come before altcoin season. I, I mean. We did dip down a little bit here to like 18. You know, whenever we come below 20, that's a good time to be loading up on alts for a potential altcoin pump. Um, and the charts are kind of lining up in my opinion. I would like to see this thing come lower. I would like to see Bitcoin pump a little bit more, guys. I would really like to see Bitcoin get one last hurrah, reject from 30K, and then like range between like 30K and like 28K. Or 25k for a while. If we get, if we see Bitcoin get one last hurrah, and we see the the Bitcoin season come even deeper here below 20, man, that could be juicy. But this this Ethereum chart is looking pretty nice right now. I do have to say, it's looking pretty dang nice. Shout out to Cozy Babe in the chat holding it down with the wrench. 
Shout out to uh, Nang Vang who says bearish engulfing on the one hour. You know, I don't I don't really pay attention to the to the one hour chart for this uh, pair, but uh, we did get a bearish engulfing, did we? Uh, I don't know. Are we talking about the same pair? <clears throat> How's Bitcoin doing? Oh my goodness! Wow. Well, while we've been looking at this, look at this. Oh man, guys, Bitcoin taking a dump right here. And uh, yeah, how's the long trade looking now? <laughs> how's the long trade looking now? We did. Look at this, guys. I man, we weren't paying attention. We rejected perfectly from the six one eight. It's crazy, right? Is it coincidental that like literally all three eyes today were from a six one eight to the dang dollar? Wow, rejected right from the 618. That is crazy. And now we put in a lower low. So we've got some market structure lower here. Man, uh, that is not exactly what you would want to see, guys. But Dogecoin is pumping. Dogecoin is pumping. Bitcoin is dumping. Doge is pumping, guys. Doge is pumping right now. You're getting a move to the upside here. And uh, let's see. Okay, so Bitcoin did get that second move from the Fib Golden Pocket. So, okay. It wasn't a bad move to add to the short. Wow, would you look at that? Would you look at that? But we front ran our take profit on this one, guys. We had a take profit set just a little bit lower. Front run the TP on this one. Wow. Um, yeah, let's see if we can't come down and hit that TP. That is wild. All right, guys. Well, it's been a great stream. We've been on for about an hour, and I have to get back out to the homestead, guys. I got to get the ground ready. I encourage everybody to get as self-sufficient as, self as possible as we move into some volatile times. And uh, may God bless everybody. In the name of Jesus, the Messiah, even if you're not religious, I still pray you are super blessed. May the Lord bless you. May he protect you. May he shine light upon you. May he have grace on you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you wholeness and peace. In the name of Jesus the Messiah, the God of Israel. Amen. I will see everybody in the next video. Didn't get a thousand likes, but maybe next time we will. Peace.